I Paramahamsa Parivaraja Kacharja, Asoto Shishiman, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivaranta Swami Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Arant Kori Vaishnavrindi Ki Jai, Nama Chai Haridas Thakur Ki Jai, Prems Ko Sri Krishna Chaitana Pramitananda Sherwita Gararar, Shivasri Gaur Bhaktivaranta Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gop Gopinath Syamakun Radhakun Giri Govardhan Ki Jai, Sri Vindavan Dham Ki Jai, Navadvip Maya Purdham Ki Jai, Sri Jumuna Maya Ghanga Maya Bhakti Devi Thalsi Devi Ki Jai, Sri La Prabhupada Ki Jai, Sri La Bhakti Saranta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai, Gaur Pramananda Haribo, All Glories Yes Some of the Votees. All glories to some of the devotees. All glories to some of the devotees. Jai Sisi Guru and Gauranga. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 1, Chapter 5, Text 6 Narada's Instructions on Srimad Bhagavatam Sa Vai Bhavan Veda Samasta Guyam Upasito Yat Purusha Purana Paravarisho Manashaiva Vishwam Srijati Avati Ati Gunair Asanga Savai Bhavan Veda Samastha Guyam Upasito Yat Purusha Puranaha Paravaresho Manasaiva Vishwam Srijati Avati Ati Gunair Asangaha Savai Bhavan Veda Samastha Guyam Upasito Yat Purusha Puranaha Paravaresho Manasaiva Vishwam Sajati Avatyati Gunair Asangaha Savai Bhavan Veda Samastha Guyam Upasito Yat Purusha Purana Paravaresho Manashaiva Vishwam Sajati Avati Ati Gunair Asangaha Savai Vaman Veda Samastha Guyam Pasti Vapusha Puranaha Paravareshu Manasaiva Vishwam Sudhati Avati Ataya Gunaya Sangha Savai Bhavan Vaira Bhamastha Guyam Upasito Yat Purusha Puranaha Paravaresho Manasaiva Vishwam Sajati Avati Atai Gunaya Sangha 
सवाय भवान मेरा समस्त गुहम वसी तो युष पुराणा परापरेशो मनसाव विश्वा सुजातीयवातीयतिगुणा असंग वाय भवन मेर समस्त गुह्यम भाषित पुराण हरेश मन शाइव विष्म सुजातीयवातीयताय गुणा असंग मत जीस सवाय भवन वेर समस्त गुह्यम उपासिता युष पुराण पराभरेश मन शाइव विश्व सजातीयतिगुणा संग दस वाय Certainly, Bhavan yourself, Veda, no, Samasta, all inclusive, Guyam, confidential, Upasita, devotee of, yet because, Purusha, the personality of Godhead, Purana, the oldest. Paravaresha, the controller of the material and spiritual worlds. Manasa, mind. Eva, only. Vishwam, the universe. Sajati, creates. Avatiati, annihilates. Gunai, by the qualitative matter. Asanga, unattached. My Lord, everything that is mysterious is known to you because you worship the creator and destroyer of the material world and the maintainer of the spiritual world, the original personality of Godhead who is transcendental to the three modes of material nature. Purport. A person who is sent for sin engaged in the service of the Lord is the emblem of all knowledge. Such a devotee of the Lord in full perfection of devotional service is also perfect by the qualification of the personality of Godhead. As such, the eightfold perfections of mystic power, Asta City, constitute very little of his godly opulence. A devotee like Narda can act wonderfully by his spiritual perfection, which every individual is trying to attain. Srila Narada is a 100% perfect living being, although not equal to the personality of Godhead. Samai Oma Jnana Timiranda Sya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chak Suru Militam Jnana Tazmai Sri Guru Venama. I was born in the darkness of ignorance of my spiritual master, Open my eyes with the torchlight of knowledge. I offer my respectful obeisances to his lotus feet. Sabhava Bhavan Beda Samasta Guyam Upasito Yat Purusha Purana Paravaresho Manashaiva Vishwam Srijati Avati Ati Gwanaya Asangaha. My Lord, everything that is mysterious is known to you because you worship the creator and destroyer of the material world and the maintainer of the spiritual world, the original personality of Godhead, who is transcendental to the three modes of material nature. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Miditam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurvenama. So herein, the position of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is given. He is the Supreme Lord known as Krishna, the all-attractive Govinda, the pleasure reservoir 
of the senses in the cows, Gopala, Yadava, Hari. He is known as Jehovah, Allah, Buddha. This is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is the master, our Siddhanta says, of the demigods, of Chandra, Indra, Ganesh, Shiva, and uh, Mai, uh, what is that, uh, Durga, Devi. But he is that Supreme Personality of Godhead. Our philosophy states that Krishna has many names and he may be known by many uh, different persons in different ways. Just like in one part of the world they call God Mon Dieu. And another part of the world they call God Dios. And another part of the world they call God Krishna. Another part of the world they call God Elohim. But that is the same person. Just like we've given the mundane example that my name uh, is Sura, but on my driver's license, it says Stuart. In French class, I took four years of French. I have no idea what for. They called me Simone. And in uh, religious school, they called me Shmuel. You cannot call me Shmuel. So many names mundanely we have. What to speak of that Supreme Personality of Godhead? He has unlimited names, but he is that same Supreme Personality of Godhead. Just like I'm the same me, even though I'm known to some as Pita, and as they say in my country, to my ex, wife, so many names we can't mention in front of saintly people and the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So God, he only has good names. He's destroyer of demons. He's destroyer of the untruth. He's known in so many ways, but it's all that same person, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And our business, as stated here in the purport, is to be engaged in his service 100%, 24 hours in a day, just like Narada Muni. But there are rules and regulations to that service. Not that we can just do the service any way that we would like, making offenses and being uh, puffed up by our devotional service. Nectar of Devotion teaches us that there are guidelines to the seva. That one performs the service without any desire for sense gratification, gross and subtle. I'm not looking for self-aggrandizement through the performance of my service. Didn't I do wonderful? Aren't I magnificent? Isn't it wonderful what I just did for Krishna? I just offered some incense. Did you see that? Was that amazing or what? Devotee does his service without a claim. One of the pitfalls of devotional service is I'm thinking, I've done such nice service. And worse than that, 
Sometimes people think and take credit for things they didn't do. Isn't my service wonderful? And isn't the service that I didn't do even more wonderful that somebody else did, but I'll take credit for it. This is the Kali Yuga. And this is not devotional service. We don't perform our seva for name and fame, adoration, distinction, profit. That seva, just like Maharaj Ambarish, Savai Manak Krishna Paravindayo, Bai Chamsi Vaikunta Gunanu Varnane, Karo Hare Mandaradishu, Mandira Marjanadishu, Chakur Chuta Sat Katodaye, Kamam Chadas Ye, Natu Kama Kamyaya, Yototoma Shloka, Janashraya Rati. He performed practical devotional service. The Raja Rishi, great saintly king, Ambarish Maharaj. Uh, he used his head to bow to the deity of the Lord. He used his eyes to see the deities of the Lord, his ears to hear the satkata, the transcendental sound of the kirtan, the transcendental sound of the Bhagavatam. He used his tongue to vibrate the kirtan and to eat Krishna prasadam. He used his nose to smell the flowers and the incense offered to the Lord. He used his sense of touch to touch the devotees of the Lord, utilizing all of his senses. Rishikesha, Rishikena, Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam Bhaktir Uchate. All of his senses in the service of the master of the senses. This is Vaishnavism. This is our science of Krishna consciousness, God consciousness. Not that we get some uh, aggrandizement. Durvas was like that. I'm big, big yogi. Now everybody just worship me. I have all these cities, Lagima city, Prapti city. I'm so powerful. I'm so perfect. I'm so happy. What's that verse in 16th chapter, I think, of Ishvaro uh, Ham? Uh, uh, Aham bogi, sidoham, balavam suki. Ishvara, I'm the controller. I did all that work. Aham bogi, and I'm the enjoyer. Isn't it beautiful? Sidoham, I am uh, have so many powers. I'm so, balavan, I'm so strong. Suki, in this way, Bhagavad Gita describes the demoniac thing, not a devotee. Of course, in Kali Yuga, the demoniac sometimes are in the dress of devotees. Kali Chela. They dress like devotees, but actually they're only interested in their own aggrandizement. We do devotional service, and if we're lucky, at the end of the year, the president mentions your score at the yearly end party and gives you a gift from Govindas. And we're happy by the dint of that service. We don't need every day, my God, Prabhu, you're so big, you're so wonderful, you've done such great service. That's a different society. There's a man in charge of that society who self-aggrandizes. I've done so many things. I took credit for, I'm taking credit for this. I did this. Now everyone can say Merry Christmas again because of me. 
such people exist. I'm not making it up. Leaders of society. Now, everyone can say Merry Christmas again because I'm in charge. Now, everyone can say Hari Hari Bowl again because I'm here. This is not Vaishnav mood. A Vaishnav does his service without any desire for reward, without any thought of even being noticed. And if he or she is noticed, they're thinking, we're thinking, I'm not worthy of being noticed. And ultimately that notice is from Krishna and our spiritual master. We are recognized by our guru for our service. And Krishna recognizes us for our service. Actually, it's stated in Nectar Devotion that Krishna sees our service, but he especially sees what we're holding on to, what we're holding back. I've got some desire, I've got some uh, ego, some desire for name and fame, profit, adoration. I want to be adored. My kirtan's the best kirtan. People will adore it all over the world. When I chant, Hare! Did, did you just hear that? Was that amazing or what? This is the demoniac mentality. I'm chanting, billions of people can chant. Anyone can chant. And they don't have this thing in their throat that never goes away. I actually tried. We have to record something. So Amla Bhakta Swami gave me this ointment. You can't drink it, this uh, drink. F tea, so strong, you put it in it clears your throat. So I gargled and drank the tea and you can't drink it, you gargle the tea. And I tried to sing again and I noticed that that frog is still there. Even the tea doesn't get rid of the frog. We may think, oh, I'm so perfect, I'm powerful, I'm happy, I'm performing such great service. Everybody recognize me. No. Life goes on, as they say in my country, within you and without you. This movement goes on within you and without you. But we need the movement so that we can be engaged in devotional service. We need Krishna so that we can be. But Krishna, when I had association with Srila Prabhupada, I actually realized and wrote in my diary that I'm thinking I'm doing so much service for Prabhupada and I'm so important member of Radha Damodar organizing parties for the Radha Damodar party, Tamal Krishna Goswami. But when I was in Srila Prabhupada's association, I realized Prabhupada was grateful, but if, you weren't, if I wasn't there, someone else would be. My service was, is insignificant as am I, insignificant. So this mood of devotional service, that I'm doing the best that I can for Srila Prabhupada and Krishna. I'm doing the most that I can, but I don't need any reward. I don't need any claim. 
I don't need a certificate in Sri Mayapur for the best sweeper of the temple. This guy sweeps the temple so good, he's recognized as the best sweeper. Of course, they may give some award for the best sweeper, and that's glorious. But I'm not trying to sweep so that I'll become the best sweeper. I'm sweeping to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Some said here, Hari Tosana. I'm engaging in service to please the Lord Hari. And by pleasing the Lord Hari, then I'm satisfied. In my office, if you come to the BBT offices upstairs, I have a certificate for this thing, Temple Bajan Band, that thing. City of Los Angeles, selfless service, all these certificates. They don't really bring me that much happiness. There's one, it's folded in a weird way. No matter how much I stretch it and put it, it still is a little folded and it's irritating. We don't perform service for these certificates. I even got a certificate last year. I asked them to predate it 40 years ago. Priest of Iskon. So if anyone wants a wedding or birthday graduation bar mitzvah, I'm authorized. I have my certificate and go to made a mistake and put 2016. So I've been a priest for one year. I think almost a year. We're not working for certificates. Certificates will not make you happy. Someone telling me, oh, you did great devotional service. Oh, you really know how to uh, work with members. And then later they're saying behind your back, do you see how he works with the members? This guy doesn't know what he's doing. We're not interested in acclaim from others. We're interested in being, in performing service for Lord Krishna. Brigupati has a, not a question. No, no, no. It's a purport to the purport of the purport. Ladies and gentlemen, Brigupati Prabhu. He's not trying to get any. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, thank you. Yeah, no, I agree with everything you said. I appreciate it. Um, Papa, though, did encourage competition. So, how do we reconcile this? Oh, yeah. Because in competition, you're trying to be the best and you get recognized as being the best. So, like, you know, and on the one hand, there's this psychological you know, impetus I want to be the best because, you know, it's part of the Papa's program. But at the, on the other hand, we're supposed to be not wanting to be the best. So it seems like almost like a contradiction there. That's a very good point. That actually is an extremely good point. We do want to be the best, Pujari, the best. See, well, not as stupid as I look. The best manager, the best uh, temple authority for Lord Krishna, not for myself. I want to be number one book distributor, not so that my name is in the lights, bright lights, and when I go to pilgrimage, everyone offers obeisances to me. And everyone's, oh my God, that's him. That's the guy. 
No, to please Prabhupada, to please Krishna. I'm trying to be number one, the best. Numero uno. In the material world, I want to be glorified and aggrandized. Just like we have leaders in this society. I'm the best, the leader says himself, I'm the best uh, at this. I'm better than anyone at this. And even the people's opinion of him is the lowest in the history of politics. I thought that President Nixon was the worst in the history of the worst when we grew up. But actually now, the people are saying, not just me, the people have voted. What do they call that? Popularity poll or something? The lowest in the history of the low in American history of presidents. There were men that were impeached. I don't remember in the 18, 19, early hundreds. What was it? Buchanan or somebody? I don't know. And he was a better popular vote, popular, what do you call? Uh, opinion. So having people and thinking I'm the best, I'm number one. I won the election. I won the marathon. That's for Prabhupada and Krishna, not for our own aggrandizement. That's a, a slippery slope. That's difficult because we're used to competing. In my high school, if you did the most pull-ups, you got your picture and your name in a humongous glass case. Some devotee came here, went to my high school, was seven years younger than me, said, your picture's still in the case. I was the number one, you'll be happy to know, for pull-ups at Niles North High School. 39. If someone beats, I'm going back there if someone does 40 or 41. In the material world, we're doing it for the picture in the glass case. And for everyone to say, ooh and ah. Especially the opposite sex. Oh. In some countries, they're like, ah. Amazed. But in devotional service, we do it for Krishna's pleasure. For Srila Prabhupada's amazement. And now a word from our sponsor, Archita Prabhu. Hey, well, thank you, sir. Uh, Prabhupada was asked this very same question that Brigham Party brought up. And he said the difference is that in the spiritual world, if you lose the competition, you're still uh, um, happy. Not that you're unhappy because you lost. You're happy because this other devotee did more for Krishna, and next time I'll try harder to please Krishna. That's Where, whereas in the material world, if you lose, you're down, and you want to drag that person down and kick their, you know, it's not like that in the Commit spiritual suicide. Platform. That's the difference between spiritual competition and material competition. Prabhupada has asked that same question directly. Prabhupada, you know, you're promoting competition amongst the devotees, this book, this reader, but at the same time, you know, we're not so... So Prabhupada said, yes, there's competition, even That's amongst the devotees. Excellent But they're point. happy for the winner. Oh, the winner is being more recognized by Krishna. Okay, next time I'll try harder to be more recognized by Krishna. There was a devotee on Radha Dhamma, his name was Dhruva Maharaj Das. He's still a great devotee. I think he lives in India. And he'd come, and I was doing one of the biggest. Vaish was doing huge, and Naikatma, Pragosh. So he was with me, and I was training him in uh, Minneapolis. And he was doing so huge that I prayed to Krishna, my dear Lord, somehow or other, let me do bigger than Dhruva. He's a young devotee. Please, Krishna, don't embarrass me. Let me be the biggest. And I was shocked. We went to India. We came back. 
I was still praying every day, my prayer. My dear Lord, please let me be Truba. Let me be the biggest. And instead of Krishna empowering me because it was so materially tinged for aggrandizement and everyone noticing me, he got uh, malaria when he got, we got back from India. We were together and he was in the hospital for two weeks and we were all young boys. And he couldn't go on Sankirtan for a few months. And I was like, well, I, Krishna, I really didn't mean that. I was like, let me beat him fair and square. Not that he becomes a paraplegic for the rest of his life. And sure enough, two weeks later, because the, the uh, what do they call the period when the disease goes through your body, Incub yeah, the incubation period. I got hepatitis A and was incapacitated for more months. So as I was laying, 23-year-old boy, incapacitated, I was praying to Krishna, reading Krishna's books, Prabhupada's bo books, and praying that, okay, I get the picture here. I won't pray to... I'll pray that we all do big, but I'd like to do something wonderful for you, but not in this way. I was appreciating finally on my sick bed, not deathbed, but sickly bed, hepatitis, malaria, terrible diseases. All glory, Sri Guru and Gorango. What do you think? Is that true?